watching Global News on this Monday, September. I can't make this up. Outrage on Parliament Hill. Jewish advocacy groups and the official opposition speaking out after a man who fought for a Nazi unit during World War II was honored in the House of Commons. And some positive news for the entertainment industry. A tentative deal has been reached to end you guys gotta watch the writer's strike. There's still no deal. Let me get one thing clear. Plus, Unifor Auto Workers agree to a three Nobody gets in the House of House of Commons without a security check. So CSIS don't vet, RCMP don't vet, the speaker can just let anybody in the House of Commons to come and speak. Give me a break. So with that, well, that being said, so with that being said, let me get one thing clear. Jagmeet Singh has ties to the Khalistan terrorist organization in India and the reason why he's not allowed back in India is because he's funneled money to them and he's a standing member of the new Democratic Party he's the federal leader of the Democratic Party in Cam in Canada okay I don't get what's going on here folks but people have been saying all along the Nazi ties to the Ukraine and the liberal government's denied it, denied it, denied it. Well, we've just seen that in the House of Commons. So I just did this video so that they can't, well, scrub it. Facebook might take it down because it's whatever you want to call it. And it's on mainstream media. Okay, so the liberals could come back in six months and say, oh, that didn't happen, that didn't happen, that didn't happen. It happened, and it happened right here in Canada. What a disgrace. It's time for the prime minister to step down. That's a huge, huge black guy. My grandfathers went to Germany in World War II to take out the SS in the Nazis and now we have one living in Canada I'm surprised Mossad hasn't come to take this guy away and hold him on trial period nope but he's living a lavish lifestyle up here in North Bay Ontario what a what a disgrace what a disgrace Canada is